All right, folks, um, listen, I'm doing this video today just to let you know I need one more day to give you guys part four. Part four is turned into part four, part five, and probably part six. It's, you know, oh, before I go any further, also, I want to say something. Look, maybe I, I don't say this in every video, but I do do a radio program and I do a lot of videos, but here's the thing. All glory to God. All glory to God and Yeshua because Jesus is the one that died on the cross so I could even understand this. So because of his Holy Spirit, without him dying on the cross, without him ascending into heaven, and without him sending back the Comforter, there is no way I could do any of this because this is a gift. So when I say this is a gift, I'm I'm giving credit to God for that gift, not me. I'm I'm not capable of doing any of this. I mean, that's just ludicrous. So I I don't like you know I'll do a, a video and then some pontificating Christian will come in with their slam and it's like goodness gracious people, um you know I I'm I'm all I'm gonna do from now on just so you know. Anyone that claims to be a Christian and comes here and leaves any rude comment, you're gone. You can never come to this channel again. You don't belong here. I'm here to give out a gift. That That's why my name means gift from God. I mean, God gave me to you as a gift. He's using me to gift knowledge to you. The gift of knowledge. All glory to God. I don't want any credit. I've been asked to write books, and I said no. I said I don't want any credit. Uh, I don't want any proceeds. I don't want anything. I just want everyone to get saved. I want everyone to get out of here. And and I just, you know, I just, like I said, all glory to God. This next part is so hardcore. This is something you can't have kids around. Parental advisory, mature content. Um, I would like for y'all to please look at some of this imagery before we get started. Um, there's links in here that you know you should probably look up just to familiarize yourself with before I do these next videos. Everything's gonna make sense. I mean, the whole world's going to make sense. The whole thing. Um, the, um, the show note links that we have are so extensive. There's so much information that once you watch one of these videos, you need to go familiarize yourself with this stuff. Because um, I can't just keep going over the same old territory again and again and again and again. Everything builds on itself, you know what I mean? So if you're coming in halfway into the game, you're missing a ton of stuff. Um, I'll try and direct those people that are coming in late in the game, you know, to understand this. The next three videos I'm going to do, I will do them tomorrow. Um, I have to draw some stuff in. Um this image of this dead sheep is is very obvious. I mean, it's this is a very obvious image. Um, the other stuff is very obvious to me because of the spiritual gift the Lord has given me. I could see instantly that's a dead sheep. I could see instantly it's the female reproductive system, as well as you know a vagina, as well as it may it makes a goat upside down. So, I think, uh, I think the best thing to do right now is just to take a deep breath. I, I literally have had a, an unbelievable, emotional, almost breakdown today because of the information. The Lord told me, just keep going. I prayed and I was like, I'm about to freak out. With the new stuff he showed me on top of this, I want you all to think about something for a second. I want you to think about this altar. 
you're looking at the largest altar in the world, in the entire world, for the largest sect of what's calling themselves Christianity in the world, at the largest church in the world. And you're looking at a dead sheep and the female reproductive system. By the way, if anyone has any problems seeing the female reproductive system, let me show it to you very quickly, okay? Let me show you very quickly. Here it is. You see this guy's miter hat right here, the gold hat? That's an ovary. Here's an ovary. And here's the fallopian tubes right there. Fallopian tubes. See that? Fallopian tube. Fallopian tube. Cervix. Uterus. Clitoris. Pubic hair. Vagina. Okay, so now the largest altar in the world to allegedly Christianity is a big upside down vagina and a dead sheep. Uh, Isaiah 29, 15 is where the Lord unlocked this for me. So I want you to read Isaiah 29, 15. And I want you to read all of Isaiah 29 so you understand um, this scripture because you're going to need it under your belt. You're going to need you're going to need the scripture under your belt. So you're going to need it to be part of you. Um, so let's go to Isaiah 29. I want to show you. I had a sunglass company called Vampires when, at the time the Lord called me. It was called Vlad Eyewear. And, um, you know, our tagline was come out of the darkness and into the light with Vlad Eyewear vampire sunglasses because obviously vampires can't come out in the daylight so it was a natural antidote you know vampires wearing sunglasses it it made guinness's book of world records twice and so it was because the lord wanted me to be able to understand all this because this is so hard to wrap your brain around but i want to i want to show you what this is it's a vampiric system and this is the beginning of the whole thing. That's why, that's why the altar, when you turn it upside down, is a vagina. That's why when you turn the virgin upside down, it's a dead sheep. Well, when you turn the vagina, that's the altar, upside down, I mean, this is a dead sheep. This whole thing's a dead sheep. When you turn it upside down, it's a vagina. Let's look what Isaiah said. Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from the Lord, and their works are in the dark. And they say, Who seeth us? And who knoweth us? So their identity is completely and utterly concealed, and they do their works in the darkness. Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. Okay, so God's a potter, we're the clay, right there. And so if you turn things upside down, it's regarded as the work of God. So that's what God told me to do. Jonathan, turn everything upside down. In my personal testimony the night I got saved, I told you one of the craziest things ever. I said, the Lord told me, read the tags and the clothes you're carrying. And I was like, some source is communicating me with me. He's telling me to read the tags and the clothes I'm carrying. So I read the tags on the back of my shirt. It said 100% nylon. And I was like, what does that mean? Some source is telling me, read these tags. It says 100% nylon. And then I heard the Lord say, turn it upside down. Look right here. Surely you're turning the things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. So in my personal testimony that I posted five years ago, I said that the Lord told me, you read the tags and the clothes you're carrying. And the first tag I read was 100% nylon. And then I go, what does that mean? He said, turn it upside down. 100% no lion. N-O-L-Y-N. Because God was going to show me the 100% truth of our existence. And I'm here to tell you, I can deliver it because the Lord gave it to me. Now, see, and someone's like, oh, you said you could deliver it. 
everything I do is the Lord working through me. That's why those people that call me a false prophet, they're done. They're, they're in the pit. I'm sorry, they are. They're in the pit. Because this is a gift of the Holy Spirit. So if they're calling someone a false prophet that is giving you a gift of knowledge and truth, because it's the truth, they're saying they're attributing the truth to a demonic source, which is blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. So that girl that I challenged to a, you know, a scriptural debate live, she's in the pit. She's going to the pit forever, no matter what. That's it. She blasphemed the Holy Spirit. She's an agent of the devil, that's why. And she's posing as a Christian. That's why God says, you're the ones that are going in no matter what. Because they're posing as Christians. Just like the Pharisees of the days of Christ. So anyway, I want you guys to read this whole scripture. Right here where it says the book is delivered to him that is not learned. Look at this. And the vision. Now, don't forget, I had a vision company. And the vision is become unto you all as the words of a scroll that is sealed. I'm giving this. What the Lord is giving you through me is the unrolled scroll, the Bible, the unrolled scroll. Do you understand how profound this is? This is the unrolled scroll, people. Jesus unrolled it. You roll, unroll it right side up and upside down. You know, like that. If you give the scroll to someone that uh, the whole vision has become to you words of a scroll that is sealed, which men deliver to one that is learned, saying, Read this, I pray thee. And he saith, I cannot, for it is sealed. And the scroll is delivered to him that is not learned, saying, Read this, I pray thee. And he say, I can't, I'm not learned. Here it comes. Wherefore the Lord said, for as much as this people draw near to me with their mouth and with their lips they do honor me, they have removed their hearts far from me, and their fear of me is toward, taught by the precept of men. Therefore, behold, I will do a marvelous work among this people, even a marvelous work and a wonder, for the wisdom of their wise men shall perish, and the understanding of their prudent men shall be hid. Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from the Lord, and their works are in the dark, and they say, Who seeth us? Who knoweth us? Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as a potter's clay. Well, that's what God told me to do. Turn it upside down, and you'll see the truth. It's a female reproductive system. All these angels, I just want to give you a quick, I only got one minute left on this video. All these angels of God are being pulled into a vortex so they can be birthed into the flesh and become dead sheep. Food for Satan. That's what this is. It's not open for debate. I mean, I'm not looking for anyone to tell me what it means because the Lord God himself showed it to me. He showed me it's a dead sheep. He showed me it's a locust. These guys are going into the mouth of the locust. They're food and they're our brothers. They're the ones. Everyone that comes through this vortex is a soul of an angel that's birthed into human skin. And angels, when they sinned, were cast into everlasting chains of darkness unto the judgment of the great day. That's why my sunglass company said, Come out of the darkness and into the light with flat eyewear. That's why I'm always falling out of the sky upside down in all my skydiving point of purchase ads. It's amazing. It's amazing. All glory to God. Okay, guys, this is just a heads up. Tomorrow, be looking for three vids. Get your Depends undergarments ready because, oh, my Lord, it is some heavy stuff. Mature content. Okay, be ready.